Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Have some big updates for you on what's going on with Invest 93L. It will be Tropical Storm Idalia. Matter of fact, I think that's about as strong as, as this storm is going to get all the way through the track. Even have some good news for the Yucatan and Belize. That life-threatening flash flooding has moved further to the east, and you are looking a lot better. So I definitely wanted to update you this morning so y'all don't start preparing for some kind of conditions that's not going to be happening for y'all. But it is starting to strengthen up. You can see with convection, it's starting to get a lot of convection around the center. Matter of fact, if you look at the cirrus clouds, it's starting to fill up the atmosphere with a lot of moisture, and it is pushing away a lot of the dry air and you can see that here so it's starting to fill up the atmosphere with a lot of precipitation starting to get it ready for all these thunderstorms to start growing you can even see a nice little outflow on the southern side but it's pushing all the dry air away and filling up the atmosphere even in the mid levels so it's definitely a strengthening storm right now and it won't be long before it forms now if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i always do updates every afternoon i won't today i'm taking my family out to go have some fun it is sabbath but i do want to give everybody the latest information so you know what to prepare for but that way you can stay updated as well i found this storm a month ago i've been updating my viewers for a month now on what's going on with this golf hurricane potential golf hurricane and we still have a break guys all the way to the 10th before we see any more activity mdr will still be a live through that whole time, but then it's going to start moving our way as we go from the 10th through the 15th of September. I will update you in this video as well. But I always show you my data. I always show you all the information. I don't just claim anything without showing you my proof. So I will keep you as straightforward and open as I can and as transparent with anything I ever tell you. Make sure you subscribe. You will not regret it. Now you also can see for this morning that the heat is going further down and it's going to keep going further down. We're still going to this cool temperatures all next week guys now you still have the heat advisories and all the orange and excessive heat warnings and all this pink meaning that you're going to get the best chance to get these heat indices all the way from 105 maybe even up to 110 or more but you can see for today with h triple r your heat indices are going to be well lower than what it's been it's really going to be a nice day for a lot of people still going to be hot in the south not as hot as it's been but it's still going to be hot and then for tomorrow it's going to be even lower on your temperatures guys now on power outages, Kentucky and Indiana is a little over 10,000 without power, but Ohio and Michigan is getting a little bit better. Michigan is still sitting at a quarter million. Ohio is still sitting at 80,000. So God bless you all. I hope y'all do get it back on very quickly. Now you also can see the latest updates as of eight o'clock this morning. It's still at 90% while he's still expecting a, at least a tropical depression to form by the end of this weekend as it moves into the Eastern Gulf of Mexico. And you see we have this next area to watch, Disturbance 3 way out here in the MDR. This is going to slowly move to the west while we're on a break in this section all the way to the 10th. Once we get to the 10th through the 15th, this is a tropical wave that could either move around a high pressure and go to Atlantic or it can come towards us as well. I will update you in this video. But you can see the good news for this morning. Still a lot of people, Western Cuba, islands in the western caribbean still getting a lot of heavy rainfall you still still need to watch out for heavy rainfall but it has moved off of the yucatan it has moved off of belize a lot of people is not getting all this heavy rainfall that it once showed and it showed very dangerous amounts so that's good news but it's still a lot of people that need to prepare in the caribbean for this heavy rainfall coming now i've never been here before we have this upper level low that's in this trough that's going to be coming down and it's going to break off and steer this storm right to the north and make it turn right into the east northeast now whether this is a little bit to the west or whether it's a little bit to the east determines whether it gets a lot of shear or just an average amount of wind shear keeping it a strong tropical storm it could be even weaker if this moves further than east however euro has been trending as correct and all the other weather models are starting to come towards the euro side has moved a little bit further to the west but still showing a landfall as you go through wednesday morning and it has not changed for a couple of days now and still showing as it moves through the gulf of mexico as we get that trough coming down with the upper level low it will put shear on this system keeping it a tropical storm as it moves across goes out through the southeast still a tropical storm guys 
Matter of fact, latest intensity guidance has come down and most of them are in agreement that this will just be a tropical storm, maybe even a strong tropical storm. Now we have one that's going way up towards a cat two. We even have the ship that's going towards a cat one. Please disregard these. These are the outliers so far, guys. The majority of them is showing this is going to be a tropical storm. Matter of fact, every season, I always tell you to ignore the ship. It is from the Navy, and it is supposed to be a good model, but it always goes for the worst case scenario every single time. Now, we will keep watching it because I will keep you updated because we all know things can change, but that's the census right now is that a little bit of a weakening of it showing not so much of a hurricane. And you can see the chance with the Euro chances for a tropical storm has gone up to 70 and 80% as it reaches towards Florida, going towards the southeast. Chance for a tropical storm. And of course, GFS has taken a little bit further to the west. GFS has shown that that trough is still going further to the east, where it's going to be more wind shear and taking it even weaker, guys. Matter of fact, if you look at the average on what GFS sees, the average shows that it will be a tropical storm either going towards the panhandle of Florida over by Tallahassee, or exactly what the euro has been trending for a long time now. A tropical storm going towards the bend of Florida. You can also see the latest update on our MJO, our Madden Julian Oscillation, whether we have potential velocity anomaly, where we have unfavorable or favorable environment in our area. If you've never been here before. It's 120 west, west coast, 60 west, lesser Antilles towards the east coast, and the rest is the MDR, our main development region. So you can see after we deal with this wave we're dealing with now, we're going to unfavorable environment almost all the way to the 15th. But by the 10th, because the MDR, the MDR, the main development region, is still going to be active the whole time where we're safe over in the Caribbean and the states. But by the 10th, still showing something could be start coming into our MDR, into our Caribbean. And by the 15th, could be affecting the U.S. Now, after that, we have another period going all the way to October. Now, remember, hurricane season goes all the way until late November. So you can see this on a control member of the euro, which means your more than likely outcome in 48 hours. As we have tropical depression idalia forming, we have that trough coming through with that surface low, with the upper level low going all the way down to the ground. That's going to steer this to the east northeast while you have Franklin making that curve. And you see as you keep on going, it does go to the east northeast, a tropical storm going across Florida in four and a half to five days tops going by South Carolina. After that, it does a little bit of wonkiness, guys. It goes out into the Atlantic. It gets blocked by that high pressure still into the northeast, and it stays southern and just sits there for a while while we get that next disturbance coming through the MDR right around the 10th, right where I'm showing you on our chances on our potential velocity anomaly. So I will never lie to you. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am very transparent with everything that I show you. I don't just tell you something without showing you where I get my information from that is wrong. I always show you the facts. Now, impact status, the latest run on the GFS. You can see from the 0Z, still taking it a little bit further to the west, still showing a weaker storm, not no hurricane, guys, as that goes northern and then gets impacts on the states and it goes out through the northeast. Now, that will be bringing a lot of rainfall and a lot of flooding all the way across the southeast, guys. Now, the next run on GFS, it does an update, it does a 6Z run. And you can see how this goes a little bit further to the east, showing a weakening as well. But it's starting to agree more with the euro going further to the east as that goes out through the northeast. But still showing that it's going to be a lot of flooding involved from multiple states on this invest, on this tropical storm. Even the winds show it'd be damaging wind gusts anywhere from 50 to 60, maybe even 70 right along the Gulf Coast. But shortly going down towards 40, you can see with the latest run, it goes a little bit further to the east and it even weakened down some. Euro is still showing what has been showing. We have a tropical storm coming in for Wednesday morning, going across the same parts of Florida that has been showing for a long time now. Now it goes inland a little further to the north, so the trough does pull it a little bit further northern before it goes out to the east. But you see how it just sits there and just waits for a while, just like we saw with that control member, waiting for that next one to come in. So what happens down the road, I will keep you updated. But after this passes by, we are in a break at least until the 10th, and then that wave's gonna come in. 
but still showing regardless of what the wind is euro is showing the flooding is going to be a big deal as well matter of fact we already have flash flooding alerts out for this but still showing the winds will be somewhere around high 40 miles per hour wind gusts it used to show 50 it has starting to come down so we have seen a weakening this morning Matter of fact, you can see the update on Weather Prediction Center that they are showing by Monday that we do have that surface low coming down, bringing in that trough and a wide area of a very broad system coming off the Yucatan. By Tuesday, they have it still staying weak but moving a little bit east into the Gulf of Mexico. By Wednesday, agreeing with the Euro going towards the bend of Florida, bringing a lot of flooding. And by Thursday, moving over right on the coast of the South Carolina and North Carolina a weak system but bring in more flooding you see how it has updated to a lot more flooding matter of fact once you go from that red to that orange you start going from four to five maybe even more maybe six or seven inches of flooding a big area so we're talking two days three days five days it's going to start really adding up and after seven days which changes a little bit really showing a lot of concerning on this flooding so please prepare any way you can. It's not just for Florida. A lot of people are going to need sandbags to protect their property. Matter of fact, they already have a flash flooding alert out from Monday going into Tuesday. So you do have a marginal for Florida, but you do have a marginal and a slight risk starting to build up for the southeast. And as you go Tuesday into Wednesday, now you have the marginal going all the way up towards the northeast on flash flooding. But you do have a slight risk that is building for Florida, Southern Georgia, and portions of Alabama. Well, thank you so much for your time, everybody. God bless you and your families. Hope you have a great Saturday out there. It seems like you really need to prepare for a lot of flooding that's going to be coming. That seems to be the census now. I will update you again tomorrow, and it will be afternoon updates starting back again on tomorrow. Thank you so much for visiting me today. And I want to leave you with this. Psalm 103, 1 through 8. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Amen. Have a great Saturday, everybody. Remember, above all things, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always keeps y'all safe, you and your families, every day of your life. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I will see y'all tomorrow morning.